Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about the difference between public health and medicine. Trust me, it's not that hard to understand, but I've noticed a lot of students who come into college don't know the difference, and it's important for you to know the difference because there's a substantial one. And the biggest difference is that, first of all, public health is credited with adding 25 years to human life. That's a long time. So anytime you think about public health, definitely understand that it's made as big of an impact to the world as much as, as medicine has. It just is not as recognized because public health is focused on entirely preventing disease. It's focused on preventing disease, all right? That's completely different from medicine, which I'm going to talk about. But for now, public health is focusing on preventing the onset of disease. You might know about a lot of diseases. You might know that you take specific uh, vaccines every year, right? Vaccines are a type of public health because vaccines are focused on entirely stopping disease before you even get those diseases. You get vaccines for things like smallpox. You get vaccines for things like TB. You get vaccines for things like chickenpox, the flu. That's all public health. Public health is working to prevent disease altogether. It's working so that you don't even have to deal with the complications of the disease. Another subtle aspect of public health is healthier working conditions. Things like basic sanitation are part of public health. Believe it or not, it was not common sense 100, 200 years ago to wash your hands after using the bathroom or wash your hands before doing surgery. And that actually was a big reason why people lost their lives. And today we realize, oh, you know, if we wash our hands, that ends on a good five to 10 years to our life. And so that's a public health measure. It's focused on prevention. Um, and, and as you know today, washing your hands is a big, big benefit because what washing your hands does is that it actually prevents germs from uh, being transmitted from one person to another. Another common aspect of public health is things like sunscreen or even showering, right? Sunscreen is public health because you we know today that if you stand in the sun for too long, the UV rays can actually increase the likelihood that you get skin cancer down the line. So when you put on sunscreen, you're actually taking a public health measure and preventing the onset of a disease like skin cancer. Same with showering. Um, believe it or not, it's not intuitive. It wasn't intuitive, at least for the beginning of humanity, to shower every day. Uh, and then we figured out, you know, it's a good idea to get rid of all these bacteria that end up on our bodies every so often and cleanse ourselves. So these things that you take for common sense today are actually public health measures. And they were um, developed over years and years of public health officials figuring out what's good for the human population and what's not. Uh, and so that's public health. And remember, it's added 25 years to human life. That's substantial. That's huge. Because this has made a bigger impact on humanity than medicine has. Medicine has only impacted uh, the lifespan of about five years. All right. So if you ever, public health is actually very under, under um, doesn't get the credit it deserves, in my opinion. Um, and that's because it's focusing on prevention. And medicine, on the other hand, focuses entirely on treatment. Patient A has cancer. Patient B has diabetes. Patient C has arthrosclerosis. Arth Multiple, multiple sclerosis. How are you going to treat all of these three patients? We're focusing on treatment here, and that's why all of these shows you watch, Grey's Anatomy, House, uh, all these medical shows are focused on treating these patients. They're never focused on, oh, here, we don't want you to get diabetes, do this. They're always focused on, oh, you have diabetes or you have stage 4 cancer. Let's treat that. Um, and so, again, the focus of medicine is that the damage is done. How can we get around it? And Examples are, you know, chemotherapy for cancer. People who have cancer, as you all know, will undergo chemotherapy. People who have HIV, which is completely, well, it's not different from AIDS. It's a predecessor or a precursor to AIDS. Um, there's this thing called antiretroviral therapy. And um, that's an all medicine because now you already have HIV. We're focusing on treating that. Um, another thing that happens is some people have heart failure, heart attacks. Uh, there are things called triple bypass surgery. So again, Grey's Anatomy, all those surgeries you're watching, those are medicine. And medicine often gets more credit than it deserves because it, it gets all the heroism, you know? People already have a condition and medicine comes in and saves the day. But what people don't realize is that public health does just as much. Um, and the reason why we don't realize public health impact is because it's ent entirely preventative. We can never really see it because we're like, oh, I'm already doing these things on a daily basis. Medicine times to get the limelight because it's focusing on more hands-on things. Um, and th this is important for you to know because what do you want to do? Or if you're more into treating things like cancer, treating things like HIV, then medicine is probably a good field. Um, if you're more into figuring out how to affect large populations and make sure you can prevent disease, then that's more of a public health thing. Um, just my two cents. And, um, you know, if you have any more questions about this, feel free to ask below. But... Um, this is a very important distinction to make because those are two entirely different fields, at least in the real world.